Here's five reasons why I don't mess with Experian Boost, and neither should you. All right, let's start off with the number one reason why I'm not messing with Experian Boost. They got to have access to your checking account. That's a non-starter for like 99% of us out there. I'm trying to keep people out of my banking business, not put more people in it. Number two. Experian Boost only reports positive payments, so because of that, most lenders will actually disregard this since they won't get any negative account history if you have some. Number three, and probably the most obvious, it actually only helps your experience score. So if you are applying for an auto loan or a home loan and they look at all three of your bureaus, they're going to see the weaknesses in TransUnion and Equifax, so Experian ain't really hiding nothing for you. Number four. These are the accounts you can actually tie into Experian Boost. Now, Experian actually reports the amounts that you pay to these accounts to your credit file. So if you're applying for a home loan anytime soon, that lender is going to use all these debts against your income, which only makes things harder for you if you're already at a thin line between your debt to income ratio. Don't make it any worse. Number five, on the average, it actually only improves the Experian file like 14 points. So for everything you have to go through to actually get those points, it's really not worth it.